Today I'm doing an oxalic acid treatment of all the hives in my apiary. To do a treatment, you're gonna need a cobalt battery. You're gonna need some oxalic acid. I got this from Man Lake, but you can buy this stuff from hardware stores or from Amazon. It's commonly called wood bleach. It's really a good idea to have gloves. I should really have chemical gloves. I don't have any at the moment, so I'm gonna have to be really careful when I handle this. And this is my oxalic acid vaporizer. Just put a quarter teaspoon of oxalic acid in there. When this is plugged into the battery, this will heat up and it will vaporize oxalic acid. You insert this into the hive and you seal off the entrance as much as you can and that will vaporize the oxalic acid. What I'm gonna do first though is I'm gonna do a test to see how long this takes to vaporize and to get an idea of how much vapor this puts out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up on a flat surface. I will put the oxalic acid crystals into there. It says it is fatal if swallowed, corrosive, causes irreversible eye damage, causes skin burns, may be fatal if absorbed through the skin, may be fatal if inhaled, do not get on skin and eyes or on clothing, do not breathe the vapor or spray mist, wear protective clothing, eyewear and respirator. I'm gonna take a quarter teaspoon. So I'm gonna connect the vaporizer to a 12 volt battery. I'll connect the red one to the red terminal on the battery or the plus terminal and the black one to the negative terminal or the black terminal on the battery. I added the oxalic acid to the holder at the front of the vaporizer. Once I have it connected, I'm gonna turn it on. Light's blinking. see it's burning off the oxalic acid, it's vaporizing it. Once it's vaporized, that will shut off and it will cool down. When you put that inside of the hive, the bees will fan their wings and that vapor will blow all around the hive as they're trying to get rid of that vapor. It looks like we're kind of coming to an end of it. That light on here should be shutting off soon and that'll let us know that it has stopped heating. It stopped vaporizing. We're ready to treat this first hive. I want to try and seal this entrance off as much as possible so the vapors stay inside the hive. Now it's ready to go. I will hit the on button. And if they move the camera closer, we'll hear the bees trying to fan to get this vapor out of their hive and that will help spread that vapor evenly throughout the hive. I can see the vapor is starting to dissipate a little bit, but that red light has not stopped blinking yet, so that means it's still heating. I'm gonna wanna wait until that red light turns off and until it has cooled down a little bit before I pull it out. So that is how you treat for Varroa mites using the oxalic acid vaporizer. There are other methods of using oxalic acid, including a dribble method and a spray method. I'll do another video on those methods at some point, but this video is about the vaporization technique. For oxalic acid vaporization to be used effectively, you either have to treat multiple times when there's brood in the colony, or you have to treat when there's no brood in the colony. Oxalic acid vaporization is very effective. It has a 90 to 99% kill rate for varroa mites. The problem is oxalic acid does not treat the developing bees inside of the inside of cap cells. And that is where the young varroa mites are being raised. So for oxalic acid vaporization to be effective, you have to treat multiple times. And most people treat once a week for three weeks. That gives developing bees an opportunity to hatch out. Those developing bees will have mites on them. You hit them again with oxalic acid. That kills the mites on those bees as well as any uncapped brood. And then you wait a week, treat again, wait a week, treat again. And after three treatments, it's very effective in reducing the mite population or almost eliminating it. One thing to keep in mind with oxalic acid is if you're treating during the honey flow, you need to remove all the honey supers and then treat. So you can take off the honey supers, put it a stack aside, and then treat the brood chambers. If you do that, you will be missing some of the bees in the treatment, but the varroa mites tend to be congregated in the brood area, and you will eliminate most of the mites doing it that way. 
Bees aren't as congregated in the honey supers, so you will miss some of the bees in the honey supers, but at least you're hitting the mites. The best times to treat for varroa mites is after you've done an alcohol wash or a powdered sugar roll. I prefer the powdered sugar roll because you're not killing bees, but the alcohol wash is more effective in terms of getting an accurate count. But either one of those methods, you can do that every month or so throughout the year and determine what your mite population levels are. Once they've exceeded uh, a dangerous threshold, you can treat for with oxalic acid. But what you should also do is right before the winter bees are being raised, it depends on when that is in your area. In my area, that's going to be in September. So I want to eliminate as many mites as possible in August to keep to have that mite population as low as possible when those September bees are being raised because those are going to be my overwintering bees. And if I have mite, a high mite population on those overwintering bees, that's going to greatly weaken them and they're not going to survive until spring. So for me, I'm going to be treating three times in August. I'll let them raise the winter bees and then probably mid-October, I will do another treatment when there's little to no brood in the colony. I will hit them with the oxalic acid and pretty much eliminate any remaining mites in there. And that's going to ensure that my wintering population is as healthy as possible so that they can make it towards spring. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about oxalic acid treatment, please leave them in the comments below. Please also subscribe to my channel and like this video. Liking this video will really help get this video placing higher in YouTube search results and I want to get this channel growing as much as possible so I would appreciate you taking the time to do that and if you subscribe to the channel anytime I upload a video you'll be notified especially if you hit the bell notification 